Hey YouTubers, welcome back. I've got a Yardman lawnmower with a Honda GCV 160 engine. And when I pull this lawnmower over, there's no compression whatsoever, so it will not start at all. So as you can see, it's really easy to pull over. The first obvious thing to check when that happens are the valves. If the valves are out of adjustment, you may not have any compression whatsoever. But today you're going to see that it's a pretty odd repair and very rare that this happens to a lawnmower. So keep watching and I'm going to show you what the problem is. Now if you have the same problem and your valve cover is dented in like that, that's probably your problem. So to take this cover off, I'm going to remove the four 10 millimeter bolts here. You may want to stick a rag under here because a bit of oil will drip when you take the cover off. Now sometimes when you go to take the valve cover off, it may be stuck on there, so if it is, just use a screwdriver and pry the cover off. So here's the engine with the cover off. It's an overhead cam, that's why you see a timing belt and the cam gear right here. In this case here, what's happening, because the cover is dented like that, is that the valve lifters cannot properly come back to let the valves shut tight. And because of this, what happens is a bit of air escapes out of the valves through the head because it's not making a tight seal inside the engine. So basically the valves are always open. So it's going to be an easy repair today. All I'm going to use is a hammer and hammer out the dents. So that looks pretty good now. It's not going to be like new again, but at least the motor is going to run good. And it's going to allow the valves to shut properly. So now I'm just going to remove the excess gasket maker that was on there before. There's no actual gasket there, it's just some kind of RTV silicone. I want to make sure it's clean of any oil here around the edges because I'm going to apply some new RTV silicone there. And do the same thing on the engine. Clean the edges off really good. And this is the RTV silicone that I'm using today. It's from Permatex. You don't need that much. Just spread it with your finger all around. And I'm going to put a thin film here on the engine as well. All around. Now some people ask me, do you have to let the gasket maker become tacky before you apply the parts together? Well, the answer to that is no, you don't have to, but you can let it get tacky if you want to. It's not really going to make any difference. So now I'm just going to reinstall the cover. So now I'm basically just going to snug all the bolts by hand like this to the engine. And I'm going to tighten up the bolts in a crisscross pattern, just so that the cover goes on nice and even. This way here, we're going to prevent any oil leaks. And you can just tighten it fairly tight by hand like this. Now I'm just going to clean off the excess oil. And now when I pull on the cord, hopefully there's going to be a bit more resistance. And it feels much better now. So now I'm going to try it out and hopefully she's going to start. So that's good. Now I know for sure that that was the problem. And sometimes, as you just saw in this video, the problem is pretty obvious right in front of your face like that. And to do a repair like this, you don't need too many mechanical skills. Just follow my video and you will be able to do it if that happens to you. And thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe.